Hey, welcome back to Daybreak, everyone. We are all local all morning, focusing on Indiana businesses, especially with Indiana Grown and how they have gotten to where they are. So uh, we spoke a little earlier about all kinds of concessions, and we're bringing in the alcohol here at this point. <laughs> Max Firum, I'd love to hear about the relationship that you folks have as, as businesses, and then, of course, how yours got started as well. Uh, we're a about 10 barrel brew system up in Lapel, Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, we opened in April of this year. Uh, and in starting the business, there's some legal food requirements sure. for, uh, for having a tap room, and that's where we connected with Joe. He's been very generous at, very knowledgeable, helping us uh, get that uh, up and running. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys kind of joined forces as he was getting into the kind of concession mm -hmm. world. And now, what are the kinds of things that you two are doing together? Uh, Other well, than making delicious food, which we're going to talk to you, Joseph, about that in just a minute. He uses uh, some of our products in some of his foods. Uh, we use his products uh, to sell in our tap room. Mm -hmm. We um, <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> we are fans of his products, and he is actually fans of our product as well. <laughs> he doesn't cook with tell it. me what he's doing right now, Joe. Speak real loud and tell me what you're what you're up to. Uh, I am deglazing our. Um, one of our newest signature dish now is called a food bar, okay. uh, which is an old vegetarian, um, can be vegan as well. Um, deglazing these um, the vegetables with a little bit of one of um, Hex Veron's uh, <laughs> Vitalia, the IPA. Uh, it complements great with uh, something that's a little spicy, like something like a Thai chili. That's fantastic that you guys get to work together and accomplish. Do people know that you're from Indiana and that your business and, and your you know combination of businesses are local? We are slowly growing that. Yes. Trying to get more people, of course, to understand and know that this is a great place to do business in Indiana and a very successful place to do so as well. I'm going to grab, grab back to Joe here. He's not wearing a mic, so we're going to have to lean close to him. Tell me again, this is the Foo Bar? This is the Foo Bar, which is uh, kind of take play with uh, our trucks are typically known for our tater tots. And um, rather than using traditional tater tots, we're using Brussels sprouts, edamame beans, mm -hmm. and then also um, those seasonal vegetables. And then we toss a little bit with a Thai chili, and then like, I, like you saw earlier, we deglaze a little bit with a Thai experiment beer. Um, and then so, and then the other thing, the other one we're making right now is another um, signature item, which is the PB&J sand. PB&J? PB&J. It's not your peanut butter jelly sandwich like you were probably thinking. But uh -huh. the, I'm, thinking, I'm saying it's more like adult version of PB&J, which is pork loin. OK. Bacon. I get it now. <laughs> It is breakfast after all. Pork, bacon, what's bacon, our J? And it's our plum jam. Ah. Capone, mascarpone, and fig. That and looks delicious. Real fast, where can folks get this? If they're looking at this drooling like I am, where can they get their hands on some of your food and your partnership? Uh, at our brewery in Lapel. And then also, I think, Joe. in Hamilton County? And Lapel is in, um, actually, it's kind of borderline Hamilton County and Madison County. Start in December, you'll find our um, our food at um, Pax Baron Brewery full time every Friday and Saturday evening uh, to go with obviously the awesome brews as well. That is fantastic. We put some info up on your screen about Indiana Grown. We're going to put this interview online so you can watch it again and drool with me one more time. <laughs> uh, but, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in today, cooking in our kitchen, and sharing your wonderful success story. Thank, thank you. For having us. All right, we're going to send it over to Stephanie.